Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Munam, a.k.a. Nikki Love, your African indigenous traditional healer. And I want to welcome you to Wulam Spiritual Society. And today we're going to be talking about the Ni'ani Imara divination map. Ni'ani Imara, meaning just to know, which was guided by our dwarf spirits. So we'll be going over and explaining to you how to use the Ni'ani Imara divination map. All right, so this is the Niani Imara divination map. And remember, mm -hmm. Niani Imara means just to know. But it was also guided by my dwarfs, okay? This one is very simple. We sell a lot of these like crazy, like hotcakes, because it's very simple. We do sell a lot of the actual bound delay because people that are into astrology and want more in-depth, you know, divination readings, they buy that one too. But this one is... For people who are starting out and who really want to learn how to do divination opposed to using tarot cards. So, what we're going to do is we're going to ask a question mm -hmm. to my cameraman today. And we're going to see what the Ni'ani, Amara, and the dwarfs, and the God you, and the God Sam bring out to him. What's your question? Okay, I got a question. What do you see from me? I just want a general reading. What do you see from me overall? Okay. Now, what you're going to do with this Niani, you're going to ask the dwarf. You see the dwarf, people? You see the dwarf? You're going to ask the dwarf the question, okay? This one, you're going to ask the dwarf the question. What do we see for Ogun July for the month of July? Okay. Let's see what we get. Oh, wow. Wow, we got a good one here. Okay, so as you can see, our little dwarf, he lands face up. Face yeah. up is a good thing, okay? okay. His money is going to get better this month. Your money is going to get better this month, okay? Um. Also, it's showing right here, this wheel represents the Divine Mothers. It's showing that everything in your life now is being designed, Okay, I mean, uh, guided and designed by the, the Divine Mothers, okay? So, mm -hmm. if you see these three stones fall basically in here, the Divine Mothers got your back, okay? Oh, now, man. we see the scarab. The scarab falls on enemies. Your ancestors, the scarab represents the ancestors when it's up like this. Mm -hmm. If they were up like this, that means you were being, you need guidance from your ancestors. But, the scarab show and show that your ancestors are about to deal with your enemies. Mm -hmm. So, they better be careful. They better be very, That's very careful. crazy because I just went to my ancestors yesterday. I just went to my ancestors and talked to them. See? Well, they're about to deal with your enemies, and they better be very careful. Now, as you can see, this scarab falls on this arrow. This arrow is pointing to the drum, okay? Meaning that you have love in your life. Also, when it points to the drum in this area over here, this means that you need to listen to some type of music that's going to take you on another vibration. Maybe some mm. nice binaural beats or binaural frequencies, but you need to start including that in your life, which is going to kind of help with some of the energy in your mind because your mind races a lot. So it's going to help yeah. with help, you know, help you relax. Because I think a lot and I have all kind of ideas just floating through my head I, and then it just doesn't stop. So yeah, you're right. Right. That's so that, that's what's going on right now. Let me do one more read for you just to complete it. So when you're doing a general reading, you should do like two or three throws, okay? Two or three throws. So we're going to throw. Oops, fall off the bed. If it falls off the mat, you have to re-throw it, okay? Don't let it fall off the mat. Okay. All right. Okay, so here we go. All right. That just means be mindful. When it falls like this, one up, and I'm going to count this as one down. That means be mindful of somebody trying to cause you obstacles, okay? Okay. But your dwarf still stands up. So that means so you have some over, overall good protection, okay? Um, You have a big protection from the God you, okay? And the supreme God you, it means that he's watching over you, okay? Now, this is an androgynous God. It's not a he or a she, okay? It's a androgynous. And he has power over all of the spirits on the earth, okay? Okay. So, you got protection from him. So, you ain't got to worry about no enemies no more. This falls right here in this category. Um, and this pretty much is representing uh, a past, okay? Mm -hmm. Where you had harm around you, but your ancestors are taking care of that. So, anything that falls near this dwarf right here or falls, 
you know, we get a, a, a arrow that points that way. You know, watch out. There's a little harm right there. It's not too far. And then you have the obstacles right here, which means somebody was trying to call you obstacles. I already, yeah, you're right. right. You're correct about that because I already know about, I know pretty much who, who. It's a team of people, I'll just say that. They're all working in unison together. But you know. Well, they better be careful because the Supreme God, you is watching them. Trust me when I tell you, right? So this right here is past, showing that pretty much when it falls out, one down, one up, that this is his past tense because you see the one before that, we, it was saying that your ancestors got you, so it was a clear reading. So we did a second reading, which is showing what was going on in the past, okay? Okay. All right. There you have it. And that's just a little bit, you know, of, of an explanation about the actual uh, Ni'ani Imara mat. Okay, this is the dwarfs. If you get any of this dwarf, there's a meaning in the book. And the book will just tell you what it means when the dwarf comes up. Like one example is if you get a red dwarf, it's one of your stones laying on the red dwarf. The red dwarf actually says there's a lot of trickery and slick energy around you. Beware. It could be friends, family, or co-workers. So... That's the meaning of that, but th these come with books, so you get the books and you get the meanings. Um, like I said, we sell a lot of these because it's basic, it's easy, and people love them. They love the Bang Dulé too. People that have been experienced with readings or astrological readings or tarot cards who've been doing it for years, they love the Bang Dulé. It's more in depth and it gets into more of a spiritual meaning. This one, basic, easy. If you love tarot cards, if you love, you know, pendulums, and actually, sorry, y'all, this also. Um, you can use a pendulum with a figure yes or no answer. So if people ask you a yes or, or want yes or no questions, you can use a pendulum with this. It does not come with a pendulum, but you can buy a pendulum, okay? It comes with the tools, the mat, and the book. So, um... And, oh, um... Or the, uh, everything here is consecrated, so everything we sell is always consecrated, so... Right. It's the, ma the mats that we do, that are being sold, they are going to be accurate. They're going to be accurate. They're going to be, and once you learn how to do them, but not only that, when we say consecrated, they sit on the shrine. Before we mail them out to you, they are set on the shrine with the dwarfs, and the dwarfs is going to consecrate them for you, okay? So just know you're not getting nothing, just coffee. You're getting powerful stuff, okay? So anyway, if you are interested in purchasing our Ni'ani Imara mat, you can go to our website at wunamandadinkwa.com. That's W U. And it's a Nancy, A, N, M, as a Mary, and, A, N, Z, and then Adinkra, A, D, I, N, K, R, A. Wunam and Adinkra.com, and you will be able to find um, these mats there. Also, do know we do divination classes. We do them every four weeks. We do divination classes on the Niani Amara. We do divination classes on the Bang Dule mats. And we're getting ready to launch the Past Life mats. So, be sure to tune in, check back at the site, and tune in for our past life classes. We will be starting a class on, uh, excuse me, July seventh on the Div on the African Magic class. So be sure to tune in to that. But thank you, family, for tuning in. Have a wonderful time. Blessings.